Welcome to biology. In this video, we are going to go through the procedure for the drops of water on a penny lab and record data so that we, our virtual students, will be able to complete this lab conclusion. For your procedure, you will want to start with a single piece of paper towel out on the tabletop and a penny laying on that paper towel. Now, as a group, you will want to decide if you are putting the penny heads up or tails up. I chose to do heads up for this example. Now you are going to want to use the same penny and the same orientation for all of your trials. We're going to start with trial one with tap water. So you'll we'll need a beaker full of tap water or a cup with tap water and a dropper. Your dropper looks something kind of like this. So I will fill the dropper with tap water and now we will count how many drops of water fit on this penny surface. So I'll zoom in so we can see this more clearly. So we'll count how many drops fit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Currently we are at 40 drops of water on this penny and the water has not spilled over off the side. I want to change the angle of looking at this. So you can see that the water is indeed bubbling up on the top of the penny. We are currently at 40 drops on the penny and we'll continue onward, see how many fit. Ah, uh, 42. That was all the more that fit on this penny. Now, within your groups, you will try this four more times and record the data. Then you will do the same experiment again with the soapy water. So we had 42 drops of water on the penny with tap water. Now we will try the same thing with soapy water. Now we are going to do the same experiment again. However, this time we are going to use soapy water. So let's begin counting the number of drops that fit on the penny with soapy water. One, two, three, four, five, six, There we have our spillover. So in this second round, we only were able to fit 16 drops of water on the penny when we used soapy water. The best way to make sure that your data is good data and that you have done good science is by running multiple trials of your experiment and each experimental setup. In this particular lab, you should have run five trials of both experimental situations. So five trials with just tap water and five trials with just soapy water. Then a good experiment should average the data from all five tap water and all five soapy water to figure out what is generally happening in those two situations. Once you have done those calculations, 
you should be able to answer the analysis and conclusion questions at the end. 